explanation. Living organisms and life processes. Life processes are characteristics of living beings. Various organ systems continuously perform their functions in human body, along with various systems like digestive, respiratory, circulatory, excretory and control systems, different external and internal organs perform their functions independently but in complete coordination. All those functions need continuous source of energy for this purpose. Carbohydrates, fats and lipids are the mitochondria present in each cell. It is not like that only foodstuff is sufficient for energy production, but oxygen is also necessary. All these, that is foodstuff and oxygen, are transported up to the cell via circulatory system. Besides, it is coordinated by the control system of the body. That is, each life process contributes in its own way in the process of energy production. Human and animals consume fruits and vegetables. Plants are autotrophs. They prepare their own food. They utilize some of the food for themselves, whereas remaining is stored in various parts like fruits, leaves, stem, roots, etc. We consume all these various plant materials and obtain different nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, etc. and obtain energy. Living Organisms and Energy Production In living organism, respiration occurs at two levels, as body and cellular level. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged between bodies and surrounding in case of respiration occurring at body level. In case of respiration at cellular level, foodstuffs are oxidized either with or without help of oxygen. Carbohydrates of the food that we consume every day are mainly utilized for production of energy required for daily need. This energy is obtained in the form of ATP. Glucose, a type of carbohydrate, is oxidized step by step in the cells. This is called as cellular respiration. Cellular respiration occurs among the living organisms by two methods. Those two methods are aerobic respiration, oxygen is involved, and anaerobic respiration, oxygen is not involved. In aerobic respiration, glucose is oxidized in three steps. 1. Glycolysis. Process of glycolysis occurs in cytoplasm. A molecule of glucose is oxidized step by step in this process and two molecules of each, that is, pyruvic acid, ATP, NADH2 and water are formed. Molecules of pyruvic acid formed in this process are converted into molecules of acetyl coenzyme A. Two molecules of NADH2 and two molecules of CO2 are released during this process. 2. Tricarboxylic acid cycle, Krebs cycle. Both molecules of acetyl CoA enter the mitochondria. Cyclic chain of reactions called as tricarboxylic acid cycle is operated on it in the mitochondria. Acetyl part of acetyl CoA is completely oxidized through this cyclical process and molecules CO2 H2O, NADH2, SADH2 are derived. 3. Electron transfer chain reaction. Electron transfer chain reaction is operated in mitochondria only. Molecules of NADH2 and SADH2 formed during above processes participate in this chain reaction. Due to this, Three molecules of ATP are obtained from each NADH2 and two molecules of ATP from each FADH2. Thus, a molecule of glucose is completely oxidized in aerobic respiration and CO2 and H2O are produced along with energy.